Do, 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 do. So in this model we're going to build some terrain. I've got a couple of little bits that I can use. So I've got this base from the Spartan Hoplite model. Um, it's it's quite nice. Um, I, but I'm going to use that as a base for the statue. So I love doing my statue. Um, but I had this really, really cool dinosaur pen. Um, and unfortunately it ran out. But it is brilliant. And this has less mould lines than a lot of models that I've got. So this looks really good. And I wanted to put this in here somehow. And I was, I was racking my brains. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a stone statue for like a temple or something for D&D. So I'm going to pop this on here. Um, I might attach it. So it'll be a really tall statue. Um, there's a Perry miniature for scale. So this will be huge, which I'm okay with. I might cut it down a little bit. So we can have it like halfway up. But yeah, I want it to look like a weird long like statue. So uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to do some drilling and some uh, fastening. Hopefully this will fit in nicely. So with this, I've left the case of the pen and just pulled out the actual pen part, uh, the, the nib. Uh, and what I've done is I've used a screw to attach it to the base. As you can see here, I've put then I I drilled a hole using the uh, trusty pin vise, uh, one of the larger drill bits, but small compared to most drill bits. I put that in, uh, just screwed it in. It, it 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 managed to bite quite well inside it, so it's really solid. And uh, yeah, that just needs a uh, touch of paint. And I think that will look okay. So I finished the statue. Um, I undercoated it black, and then uh, built it up with uh, various um, dry brushes of uh, grey, uh, trying to look like a simple, simple stone statue. So I think that would look good in some kind of like dungeon or something. Um, it could be used for, uh, just in D&D &D or for oath mark as an oath mark marker and uh, potentially could uh, be used as a standing for the obelisk in the Tomb of Annihilation adventure for D&D &D 5th edition. So uh, yeah, I'll put a couple of little um, red dots on the eyes to break it up a little bit. But yeah, I think that would be a great, um, great statue for like goblins or something to worship uh, deep underground. Oh, or even lizard folk. Uh, yeah, so yeah, really cheap. Rescued a really cool pen. Uh, cost next to nothing, just with spares. So yeah, looks really good. Thanks for watching.